YouTube Picture Book, Grasshopper Hopper 3, Ladybus Adventure. This was some time after the search for Beta's sister. Ladybug was in the Rose Garden. The Rose Garden is located a short distance from the plaza where Ladybug plays with Hopper and Peter. Ladybug's family lives in the Rose Garden. And the Rose Garden is full of roses. One day Ladybug went to her mother's house because her mother was calling her. Hello, mother, what can I do for you? Ladybug, thanks for coming. Actually, I have a favor to ask you. What kind of request? I have two children. They will be your little brothers. Two of them have turned into larvae, and I want you to teach them how to pick aphids. Ladybug also learned how to catch aphids from her older sister when she was a larva. Since then, Ladybug has become an expert aphid picker. Ladybug was now feared by aphids as Ladybug the aphid catcher in this rose garden. Okay, I'll take it. I will teach my brothers how to pick aphids. Ladybug went back to her house after asking her mother for a favor. On her way home, she heard a story about the men in the rose garden. Oh, no, a lot of aphids have appeared in the rose garden. They have sucked all the nutrients out of the roses, and the roses are getting weaker. You're absolutely right. There are a lot of sick roses out there. I wish I could spray medicine, but the medicine would be poisonous to the bees. I don't know what to do. Yes, because the bees would stop coming here. I don't know what to do. Ladybug went back to her house after asking her mother for a favor. On her way home, she heard a story about the men in the rose garden. The next day Ladybug brought her brothers to the red rose place. Ladybug's brothers are very happy to see the red roses. Wow, there are so many beautiful flowers. Thank you for bringing us here. Don't play selfishly, it's dangerous. Everyone, gather here. Hey, there are thorns here. It hurts when you touch it. Let's play patience with my brother using this thorn. Ladybug's brothers are so happy to have their first picnic that they don't listen to Ladybug. Ladybug decided to watch her brothers until they got tired of playing. She was aware of her surroundings while her brothers were playing. After a while, Ladybug's brothers got tired of playing. Then they returned to her place. It was fun. By the way, what are we doing here? It's for you to learn how to pick aphids. What are aphids? It's what we ladybugs eat. You eat a lot of it and grow up. Tasty. It's delicious. So let's learn how to pick them from now on. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do my best. Thus Ladybug taught her brothers how to pick aphids. Aphids are on the stems. When aphids are feeding on roses, they do not move. That's when you should aim for them. Ladybug taught her younger brothers how to pick up the abaras and then let them practice. After a while, the brothers returned. Hey, we found a good way to pick them. What kind of pickings? Aim at aphids from the front and the back. We picked a lot of aphids that way. That's great. You and your siblings are working together. The next day Ladybug's brothers picked aphids at a yellow rose blooming area. All right, this way. All right, I'll drive it your way. The next day Ladybug and her brothers went to a place where white roses were in bloom. Hey, aphids went that way. All right, this way. Ladybug's younger brothers were very good at getting aphids. And they became chrysalises. Ladybug had finished teaching and was taking a break. She could hear the men in the rose garden talking. Hey, the aphids in the rose garden have decreased. Yeah, I guess so because there were ladybugs flying around. I bet the ladybugs picked those things. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. It helps that the ladybugs are here. Thanks to them, the roses in the rose garden are getting better. Now I don't have to spray medicine. The bees will come, too. Thanks to Ladybug and her brother's aphid picking, the roses seem to be doing very well. Then one day, Aphid and Ant came to Ladybug's house.
You look like you're in trouble. What can I do for you today? Today I have come to ask a favor from you, Ladiba, the aphid picker. Hi. Ladiba the aphid picker. Hi Ant. Recently Ladiba's family picked too many aphids and we ran out of food. I did not know that. Is it true? Yes, I am. The sweet juice produced by aphids is our favorite food. We are going to get hungry if we don't do something about it. So please stop picking those aphids. We are asking you to do us a favor. We ask the same from us. If we don't do this, we will be gone. That's a problem. If the aphids suck the nutrients out of the roses, our rose garden, which is our home, will be ruined. When aphids eat, Ladybug and her uncle in the rose garden are in trouble. And when Ladybug eats, aphids and ants are in trouble. Apparently, that is what is happening. As it is, the three cannot come to an agreement on their discussions. Ladybug thought hard. I have an idea. What if aphid moved to a weed field near the rose garden? There are some very strong weeds growing in that weed field. This weed is troubling the uncles in the rose garden. It's a perfect meal for the aphids. If the aphids suck the nutrients out of the weeds, there will be fewer weeds, and I'm sure the rose gardeners will be happy. What do you think? Would you like to move in? That is a good idea. Aphid. Let's move in. Yes, we are moving. And please help us move. Yes, of course. We're good at moving. Thus, the aphid and ant problems were solved with Ladybug's suggestion. Ladybug is amazing for suggesting an answer that pleased everyone. And the roses in the rose garden became more vigorous. The roses repainted their own petals nicely. The aphids also enjoyed living in harmony in the weed field. The end. When you subscribe to the channel, you will be notified of new picture books.